This country has the largest freshwater lake in Europe. Hello, welcome to Open Tierra. Today we're exploring Hungary, one of Europe's most culturally rich and diverse countries, boasting a heritage deeply rooted in history and innovation. Stay till the end to discover the untold stories in the fabric of this remarkable nation. Hungary is a landlocked country located in Central Europe, bordered by Slovakia, Ukraine, Romania, Serbia, Croatia, Slovenia, and Austria. Roughly the size of Indiana, Hungary has a varied topography containing plains, hills, mountains, and the largest lake in Central Europe. The majority of Hungary consists of flat plains and rolling hills, such as the Great Hungarian Plain, which covers the eastern half of the country. The country has several drainage basins, including the Danube Basin, where the Danube River flows through the center of the country. The Little Hungarian Plain and other basins provide fertile agricultural land. Hungary has several mountain ranges, mostly located along its borders. The North Hungarian mountains contain the country's highest point, Mount Kekis. The Trans-Danubian mountains run along the western border, while the Mexic mountains define the southern border. These offer hiking, caves and scenic landscapes. Lake Balaton, located in Western Hungary, is the largest freshwater lake in Central Europe and a major geographic feature. The lake provides important fishing resources. Its scenic villages and wetlands draw many tourists for boating, swimming and other recreation. Budapest, Hungary's capital and largest city, is located on the Danube River. Other major cities include Debrecen, Miskolc, Zeged, and Pex, each with its own distinct geography, industry, and cultural sites. Hungary has a long and storied history, dating back over a thousand years. The Magyar tribes first settled the region in the 9th century CE after migrating from lands further east. Under the leadership of Arpad, the Magyars conquered the Carpathian Basin and established the Kingdom of Hungary in 1000 CE. Over the next few centuries, Hungary became an important kingdom in medieval Europe, though it was ravaged by the Mongol invasions in the 13th century. The kingdom reached its peak under the Angevin dynasty in the 14th century, but then gradually declined under the rule of Sigismund in the 15th century. The 16th and 17th centuries brought immense change to Hungary. The kingdom was partitioned after the Battle of Mohács in 1526. The Habsburg monarchy took control over parts of Hungary, while Ottoman Turks occupied a large section of central Hungary, the country was reunified in the late 17th century after the Ottomans were defeated at the Battle of Vienna in 1683. The 18th and 19th centuries saw Hungary begin to modernize and develop a sense of nationalism. Calls for liberty and independence from the Habsburg Empire grew louder, culminating in the Hungarian Revolution of 1848. Though the revolution was crushed, it planted the seeds for an independent Hungary in the 20th century. They finally achieved full sovereignty after World War I with the dissolution of Austria-Hungary. However, the country sided with Germany in World War II. After the war, it fell under Soviet control as a communist satellite state until 1989, when free elections were held again after the fall of the Iron Curtain. They joined NATO in 1999 and the European Union in 2004. The population of Hungary has a diverse ethnic makeup, with Hungarians being the majority group. About 83% of Hungarians identify as ethnically Hungarian. The Hungarian people are descendants of Magyar tribes and other groups that migrated to the Carpathian Basin region over 1,000 years ago. Other major ethnic minority groups in Hungary include Roma, Germans, Serbs, Romanians, Slovaks, and Croats. The largest minority is the Roma, making up around 3% of the population. 
There are also many regional variations among Hungarian ethnic groups. When it comes to religion, the majority of Hungarians follow Christianity. Around 54% identify as Roman Catholic, while about 12% are Calvinist Protestants. About one-third of Hungarians do not identify with any religion. The Hungarian language is unrelated to most other European languages and reflects the distinct history of the Magyar people. It belongs to the Uralic language family, distantly related to Finnish and Estonian. Hungarian has unique grammar, vocabulary, and some Asiatic linguistic influences. Regional dialects of Hungarian are spoken across different parts of the country as first languages. Hungarian remains the official language and a unifying identity marker. Among minority languages, German, Romanian, Serbian and Slovak are common along borders. Hungary has a developed, high-income mixed economy that is increasingly based on services and export-driven manufacturing. The World Bank estimates its GDP at around $177 billion. It joined the European Union in 2004. Its central location makes it a key logistics and business hub in Central Europe. Agriculture remains an important sector, employing about 4% of the population. Major crops include corn, wheat, sunflower, potatoes and fruits. Livestock like cattle, pigs and poultry are also raised. Food processing and production contribute to exports. Industry accounts for about 30% of Hungary's GDP. Automobile production is a key industry, with factories from Audi, Mercedes and Suzuki. Other manufactured exports include machinery, steel, mining products and chemicals. The service sector makes up around two-thirds of the economy. Banking, retail, transportation, healthcare and telecommunications are major service industries. Tourism centered on Budapest, Lake Balaton and rural areas is also economically significant. Hungary's main export partners are Germany, Austria, Romania, Slovakia, France, Italy and Poland. They face challenges including income inequality, high public debt, an aging population and the emigration of skilled workers. However, ongoing investments in infrastructure, technology and education aim to propel long-term growth. Hungary has made major contributions to classical music with composers like Liszt, Bartók, Kodely and Dohnányi. Famous Hungarian authors include Molnár, Kostolányi and Nobel laureate Imre Kertes. Many festivals celebrate Hungarian culture and history. The Budapest Spring Festival showcases over a hundred events from concerts to exhibitions. There are also wine festivals like the Budapest Wine Festival. Hungarian architecture includes Romanesque, Gothic, Renaissance, Baroque and modern styles. Notable structures are the Hungarian Parliament, Matthias Church and the bridges and architecture of Budapest. Here are some Hungarian dishes that showcase the flavors of the country. Chabai Kolbash is a type of Hungarian sausage from the city of Bekesk Saba. It has a distinctive paprika-based flavor and a bright red color from the spices. The sausage is made from a mix of high-quality pork and bacon fat. It has a smoky, rich, mildly spicy taste that makes it a Hungarian staple. Zegedi Salami is a salami named after the city of Zeged in Hungary. It was originally made by pork fat and paprika merchants in the 18th century. The distinctive Zegedi Salami recipe includes plenty of garlic and hot paprika, along with pork seasoned with salt and pepper. It has a bold, garlicky and spicy bite. Lekvar is a traditional Hungarian jam or preserve. It's typically made from fruits like apricots, peaches, plums or cherries. The fruit is slowly cooked down with sugar into a sweet, thick spread. Apricot lekvar is especially popular. Lekvar can be enjoyed at breakfast or used as a filling for sweet crepes and pastries. 
Gyulai Kolbash is a smoked Hungarian sausage from the town of Gyula. It was granted protected geographical indication status by the EU in 2007. These sausages get their distinctive taste from the locally raised Mangalika pigs and paprika from the Seged region. The meat has a rich, hearty flavor. If you enjoyed this video on Hungary, you'll love this